Hey everyone, I wanted to do a, a video, if I can get this done, I get all nervous with videos, I do better with lives. Um, I wanted to show you the two shadow boxes that I completed for fall. I showed you guys these, all the purchases I made and, and on my YouTube videos. There's a lot of planning videos, what we, you know, and it was so much fun because I did two Halloween boxes and two fall boxes. Now this Halloween box, I'm sorry, excuse me, fall box, I did with Xenia. I will link her YouTube video down below. I've just popped on live and we work together. I typically stream with Kathy Berg, but I was, she asked for someone to come on and I was ready to go. So in this box I used, you can see the, the chicken is fabric. It's a die cut. You can see the straws from the Dollar Tree. Those are real eggs that I washed and cleaned and put in there. This window is Tim Holt. This wire I purchased from Chicken Wire from Hobby Lobby quite some time ago. The truck came from the Dollar Tree. Removed the stem. It's a yard decoration. Added, of course, my tag. Added these. I got these from Michaels one time as a box of kids' magnets. Sticks right on the truck. I love it. Again, there is my... Carabella fall farm paper in the back. There's the kid scarecrow, the hay bales from Dollar Tree, the, the cupcake picks from the Dollar Tree. You can see my brads. I got those inspector art creations. They are, I just put them inside the baskets, pop them right in, some leaves over this side, more the Carabella paper the gourds and came from the dollar tree you can see the ladder came from hobby lobby this is just a sticker mustache this came from a magnet uh kid set from michael's you can see in the back again i added more of the paper i added a tim holtz die cut that was colored by peggy one of my youtube subscribers and she sent that to me as happy mail he's peeking out in the back she did such a good job coloring him ah, that's the tim holt wait a minute this might be a a l l create i apologize he also has some cute farm animals too i had a cap i had a milk cap some leaves in the dollar tree this is one of tim holt's windows from his halloween collection which is great for the fall collection this is sunflowers in the dollar tree this came from an old paper line. I have a stash. Again, a kid magnet. This is a Dollar Tree Scarecrow I had to add. And I really loved how it turned out. So this was the first This was the first one I did And um, for fall. I did two Halloween boxes. And this is one of my fall boxes. I did this on Xenia's. I will sh put the link below. Um, the other video we did that I did, um, I did this on Kathy Berg's live. I did neither box on my own channel, which is why I'm doing the uh, kind of the finished product for you guys to see. So I'm going to turn off the lights real quick. That's that look pretty? I love it. So um, I added the, this was in here, but popped out on my, on my recording flops. <laughs> Um, you can see the lights are from the Dollar Tree. They're super cute. Little leaf dollar, you know, little leaves. They're from the Dollar Tree. They work perfectly. They're great. I mounted the box over here, the battery box. I love it. And I love, um, the variations. You know, the other, the other box was a farm box. This is more of your typical, I guess, uh, typical fall stuff. Sorry, I talk with my hands. <laughs> Let me turn my light back on. Okay, so I use the Carabella again. Fall fun collection. I purchased it from, from Maddie at Spectre Mark Creations. And, and this one, I got this little guy from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. This is from the Dollar Tree. Going to glue it back in. I bumped into my cord up here on one of my recordings I didn't like. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. Cute little acorns go with the acorn bird. The mushroom paper from Carabella. The mushrooms from Hobby Lobby. Um, a scarecrow from Dollar Tree. And you can see the paper behind there. This was on the stick. I just broke the stick off. I bought 
it's there is a set of two for the dollar tree so technically you know 75 cents each or whatever and then this cute little ladder came from hobby lobby these were all dollar tree all the boards and pumpkins this came from hobby lobby i love this little scarecrow he's like ceramic and i love his uh, legs dangle some hay bales from dollar tree some cupcake picks from dollar tree the leaves from dollar tree and i added just some paint on the edges um and i think whoop, let me get the legs out <laughs> there you go the legs dangle so when it's horizontal the legs little legs dangle on these two guys and i love the lights and i just love how both turned out i am going to just use a couple things on my desk just to show you guys the tilted so you don't get a ton of glare all right there you go i'm rigging it up okay so there are there are, there are both of my boxes done i'm super happy i did two halloween boxes from target and two haul and two fall boxes from target these were trays and their dollar section for five bucks and i made them into shadow boxes all the items were dollar tree hobby lobby and i think a few things from joann's and spectrum art creations a combo of stuff but it was so much fun um say tim holtz windows you name it i used everything but the kitchen sink but thanks for watching my video and I appreciate it. I will be on tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern if you want to catch my live and I will talk to you all later. Bye.